Welcome back to my channel everyone. So in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you how to use the My Skoda app. Now, before we get straight into this, I just want to let you know, my car is a 2022 Skoda Octavia VRS. I've made a playlist on this car already. So if you're interested in that, please click back through my playlist and watch the previous videos. Okay, so first things first, if you wanna be able to connect to your Skoda, you will need the My Skoda app. Now, once you've downloaded that, if you haven't done already, you will need to create an account with Skoda and then you would have to link your car to your account. Now, the way that you do this is you have to enter your VIN number of your car. You can get that either in the vehicle settings on the infotainment display, or if you go outside your car and look on the left corner of the windscreen from the outside in, you will see it's displayed there as well. Once you've done that, if I remember correctly, you may need both keys for your car with you um, to link the account and confirm. Okay, so once you've registered your account and your car's been linked, your home screen on the MySkoda app will look something like this. Now, this may vary depending on what model of Skoda you've got because if you've got an electric Skoda or hybrid or petrol it may look a little different to this okay so let's go through the functions of the app as you can see here um, we've got a Skoda Octavia VRS estate pictured there how good is that and then we've got a doors and lights status of the car so um, currently the vehicle is unlocked because I'm sat in it uh, we've got the parking lights are off and the doors and windows are closed and then we've got a vehicle status, which tells you how many miles you've got left. Now, if you've got an electric vehicle, it may also tell you how much battery percentage you've got. Um, this will obviously vary if you've got a hybrid or a petrol or a diesel or a fully electric vehicle. Um, and then we've got a ventilation mode where I can run the ventilation for 10 minutes if I wish to before getting in here, which is quite nice. Uh, I believe cars with uh, auxiliary heaters that are factory fitted can also turn the heating on and off um, so that's the home screen now you can go into the doors and lights section this is where you can lock and unlock your car this feature is very good because if you're like myself and you go to the airport and you can't remember if you've locked your car then this will tell you if you have and if you haven't locked it you can lock it also, if somebody needs to get in your car and you're miles away from it and it's someone you trust and know, you can unlock the car for them remotely um, without the need of giving them the keys. Now, <clears throat> if you want to use this function, you will have to go to your local authorised Skoda dealer and give them your driving licence so they can register that they've confirmed who you are and that this part is all turned on. Otherwise, you can't activate that. So just bear that in mind. And then vehicle status, so we can click that. Um, this will give us 364 miles left on the tank. Total mileage of the vehicle. I've got plenty of ablu left because this is okay. My oil change is during 14,300 miles. And also, look, my service inspection. So that just gives you a general overview of the current status of the vehicle. And then ventilation. I don't want to run the ventilation at the minute. I'm pretty happy not to do that. But we'll go into the inspect section of the app now. So on here, this is where you get your driving data. This function's really handy if you're like me and you use your car for work because I need to keep a track of how many miles I do like for business, how many miles I do privately. Um, so this, this function is really good. If I change the, the setting to since start, you'll see like for instance on today's date, I've done 110 miles today. Sunday I've done 37. This is on the weekend, 34. So it gives you like a running total and also your average speed along with your fuel consumption, which pretty bad some of these fuel consumptions for a diesel. If you change that, you can change it to um, long term. I don't know how they gauge the long term. I'm not so sure. This bit is the bit I like where you can do the since refueling section. And this basically tells you how many miles you're getting each time you're filling the car up. So if you look here, um, for example, I've got 402 miles to that tank of fuel, traveling time, average speed and fuel consumption. So th this is quite good. So you can see where you're at with your fuel consumption. We'll come out of that and then we'll go to vehicle health report. This is where you can see if there's any defects on your car. Currently, we've got a complete green checklist and you can generate a report for that as well in PDF format. Now, if we come out of that, you can select your service partner. Uh, allow while using the app there you go so wherever you are in the world you can find your local service partner and you can change it as you wish on the app so from the inspect section on the app we'll move over to navigate 
This will give you your parking position so you can see where your car is. Let's get it closed. So this is where we're parked right now. We are in the old Shore Road Sainsbury's, believe it or not, <laughs> in Hove. So if you, for example, have gone bowling, you've left your car in a multi-storey car park and you're within, I think it's 500 metres of it, you can press the honk and flash button. The car will honk and flash. I'll show you that in a second. And you can also, if you, you know, if it's late at night, and you don't want to disturb anyone with noise. You can just press flash, and that will obviously flash the headlights. Right now, there is a trip planner section on here which you can click. Now, this kind of does and doesn't make sense to me. Now, the good thing about this is, just say for example, you wanted to go to Edinburgh, right? Edinburgh Castle, right? And then you wanted to click show route. It will create a plan for you on the app. It will tell you that. The, how long it's going to take the mileage and blah 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 and it, it'll even take into consideration coffee breaks and stuff however the minute you want to send this to the vehicle i.e so it comes up on your sat nav there you do have to pay an additional yearly subscription um so just bear that in mind this is about 44 pounds i believe i just checked but it doesn't make sense because i would have thought it should be included but however you can also just click navigate and open it up in your apple or google maps so if you're not really bothered about using the sat nav on the car which me personally i never use the car's own sat nav i always use apple maps or google maps it doesn't really matter so that's that function okay so if we go to more on here um, this is the final section of the app where you can click notifications um, you can filter these out so if you've got a speed notification set up it will tell you in here when the speed notification was uh, area notification and anti-theft alarm so if somebody was to break into your vehicle uh, and the alarm goes off this will send you a notification you'll also get an email i believe with the skoda connect because mine went off before and i've got an email as well uh, messages i haven't used this section here i need to look into that bit because i don't know about that but let's go on to area notification so i'm not so sure what the purpose of this would be but what i believe you can do is set an area on the map and if your car goes into that area you will get a notification okay maybe if you don't trust somebody who's using your car that's the only reason why i could think that you'd need that if anyone else has got a better reason for why you'd want that please let me know um speed notification so this is quite good you can set up a speed notification so if for example you dropped your car off to your local mechanic right you could stick this at say 70 mile an hour so you know if he goes over 70 you get a notification and you can pull him up on that after you know um i'm not going to activate any speed notifications because it's only me that drives my car so i don't need to know you got manuals in here that will basically give you the manuals um for your car you can just click that it will take you to skoda's website and then you've got a service overview section which basically gives you all the update information on the status of your Skoda Connect services. Now, the only one I've got activated is this app. Um, this app, by the way, costs £36 uh, a year. Um, there is an infotainment online section, which I don't think I've activated. And then it will tell you about traffic apps and stuff like that. These ones I don't have. And there is also a data service, which you can get for your car, like a Wi-Fi one. We won't go into that, though, because I don't have it activated. So... There's also another section here, care and insurance. So I think you can take out service plans online, blah, blah, blah. I won't be doing that today. And then you've got a vehicle details part on here. I'm just blocking out my VIN number for my own protection. And that's pretty much it on that side of things. There's also a little phone button up here where you can phone uh, the breakdown assistance line. Just click that, that'll ring them. And then information call line. I've actually rung them before. They're very helpful. If ever you need any information or support um, regarding your like infotainment system or anything like that, they will help you there. So what we're doing now is a few little practicals. I'll show you exactly how it works from outside of the car so you can see it working for yourself. Okay, so we're outside the car. Let's try the lock feature because the car is currently unlocked. Okay, we'll put a pin in. It's top secret. There you go. Here the wing mirrors and the doors lock in. That is now locked. Now, if we refresh the app, we say here the car's locked, we can unlock it now. Make sure no or not authorized person gets in. Press OK. Now put the pin in. 
car is unlocked. I can now get in without my key. Okay, the next function we're going to test is the honk and flash. We've lost the car, we don't know where it is. We're in a multi story car park. Let's honk and flash. Alright, that's enough. So now, like the, you see, like the indicators are flashing. <laughs> that's quite irritating, actually. Alright, we get it. Honk and flash finished. And then we can just do the flash, which just turns the hazards on. There you go. Look at that. Flash finished. It's been flashing. Okay, so the other thing what we'll do is lock the car, set the alarm off and check for notifications. So, I'm going to come off the app. We're going to lock the car. Right, that's locked. There you go. I've just got a notification straight away. So you go, that comes up in the notifications. Anti-theft alarm. Has detected movement on the outer casing. Now all I've done there was open the door from the inside and it set it off. Let's turn it off. So that feature alone is very, very, very useful because if somebody breaks into your car, it's quite handy to know. Now the only thing I don't like, which I've just tested, is I've left the windows open and you can't close the windows from the app. That's the only thing I don't really like about that section on the doors and lights because obviously if you did leave the windows open and it's pouring down with rain, you would like to think you could close them but maybe there's a reason why they've done that, I don't know. Okay, so I've listed and detailed as much as possible on the My Skoda app. Um, it's got a lot of good functions and a lot of good features. I mean, me personally, the ones I use that for is to know what mileage I do on a daily basis. I like to know exactly how that is. Obviously you can do it from the car itself, but I like it on the app because when you're away from the car, you can just check and you can top up your mileage and blah, blah, blah. So that's really handy for me. I'm not so fussed about miles per gallon. Um, I know a lot of people will be. I'm not so fussed if I get, you know, between 35 to 50 miles per gallon, I'm happy. If it starts going below that, then I will start questioning it. So it's good for that. Very good for like the status of the vehicle as well. Uh, it can tell you if there's any problems on it and you can download a report, um, oil service, things like that. So it gives you a real time um, update of what's going on with the car. That's really handy. And the anti-theft alarm. So obviously if somebody does, you know, break into your car or tow it or something like that, you will get the notification providing you've got an internet connection and you've paid a subscription. Now, they're the most things I use it for. You can obviously unlock and lock the car as well. That's another great feature, which I think is handy to have, especially if you've like you've gone in the supermarket or you've totally forgot if you, you don't know if you've locked it or not. Um, I don't often do that, but just sometimes it's there. It's handy just to give you that peace of mind. Um, so yeah, 36 pounds a year is what it cost um, me at the time of doing this video. So that's July 2023. It's probably going to go up like everything else does, but 36 pounds a month. That's free. 36 pounds a year. Sorry, that's three pounds a month essentially. It's nothing. But yeah, hope you found this video useful. Now, if you want one of these lovely carbon key cases, please let me know. Um, I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, that should pretty much be it for today. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again soon for the next one. Bye for now.